So guys, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Akili be back with another um video. So in today's video we're gonna be making fish burgers. Um we're gonna be making burgers and yeah, and we're gonna be making our buns from like from the start from the square, you know. Yeah, we're gonna make our own buns for the burgers and yeah. So I'll show you guys through everything and yeah, please like, comment, share, subscribe. I know I haven't done a cooking video in a while, but today I just felt like let me record it, let me post it, you know. So yeah, let's do that. Let's. I'm gonna. We're gonna start with the burgers, with the buns. So guys, I added in some yeast into the into the mixer. With this yeast, which is two and a half spoons of yeast. And then we put three tablespoons of sugar. So this is three tablespoons of sugar and a teaspoon of salt. So now I'm gonna add in the milk. It calls for one cup of milk and one half cup of water. So guys, now we're here, here. So as I told you guys, this is some sugar, yeast, and flour, and blah blah blah. I don't know why the shit is moving like that. But anyways, so and then here we have some. Um, bread flour and then we have water and then milk diluted with water because I'm not about to waste milk and then we have like oil or butter you can use butter the recipe calls for butter and then it's the yeast sugar salt mixture and then we're just going to put everything together and mix it up <laughs> Apparently it shouldn't be like, it shouldn't stick to your finger, so that's how you know it's ready. So I'm gonna leave it to proof to rise for one hour, and I'll get back to the dough. Yeah, so one hour should cover it with something I'm gonna cover with like a, a cloth, a, a kitchen cloth on top, and I'll see you guys in one hour. Guys, so this is after one full hour of proofing. So you can see some sticking this downward in size. So I'm gonna roll this baby up into 12 or 6. I only need 6, but if 12 is necessary, I'll make them 12. And I'll date you guys when I'm done, when I'm about to put them in the oven. So it's been more than one hour and something minutes. So guys, here are the the bar the dough so it's six i separated mine into six because i want big you know big buns i don't want a small one but you can totally divide this like in like you know they say she made 12 so you could probably just cut a little bit from each one cut them in half see i just wanted a big ones because we are three and we're just gonna eat like two 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 so yeah, I'm gonna put them in the oven. She said for 20 something minutes. Yeah, then I'll update you guys if it takes much more longer than that. And you're supposed to apply like a egg yolk with the water and then you brush it on top and then you put it in the oven. But I don't have that. So I'm just gonna let it cook and then between there, I'm just gonna apply some oil on top here. Yeah. So guys, the burgers are ready. The burgers are there they're still in the oven as you can see but they're ready the white things on top is just flour they don't brush anything on top it's just the flour so they're almost too ready as you can see so yeah and i will start with the so here's the mince i spiced it like i just used it. random spices to put in there so here's the mince so it's like a little so i'm just gonna we have breadcrumbs so i'm just gonna add breadcrumbs inside so you can you know which kind of, like become volume ish then I'm gonna add like one egg to you know mix it like that. 
so yeah stay tuned guys so guys i decided to add some breadcrumbs as you can see just to bring some volume so i'm just gonna add the rinse in here and mix it around and then i'll just create balls you know for the for the yeah for the puzzles now i'll update you guys okay so hi guys so here i am smashing the patties down inside the pot you should wait for your oil to be like hot 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 so you can actually use the oil so and then yeah i'm just gonna just supposed to cook you know let them cook for like at least like a minute and 30 seconds on each side let them have like a good crust and a a good burn yeah you know you understand and then here i just transferred it to another pot because it was much more easier because it's a large stick and yeah so yeah i just cut some a few onions and put them in the remaining of the oil that i fried the patties in so we can the onions can have that taste yeah so they can get caramelized and yeah so here is the burger assembled ready so under so first thing is a little bit of sauce under a burger cheese onion and tomatoes thank you for watching